Right, I think I'm going to go home and come up with a couple of restrings for my decanter. Having a look at the room description for my manor, we can see that I am in a large cave and it has a dwarven flavour because, well, my character is a dwarf. So I'm going to restring my decanter also with a dwarven flavoured restring. I think a flagon of dwarven ale would be a very nice restring to have on my decanter. Now as you can see I've entered it in the bottom but if we have a look in the communication log we can see that you say a flagon of dwarven ale. That is a restring I've decided to use for my decanter. This is what we call the short description which is what we will see when it is in my inventory and when I use it. Now having a look down the very bottom in the pale yellow we can see the at symbols are in front of a lot of letters as they are the colour codes. I have already counted all the characters used in this particular restring and the total comes to 42. But what I need to do is double up all the ads. So I'll do that now so you can see exactly what I mean. Alright, let's try this. Now if we have a look at the communication log again, all we see now is a string of characters with the colour codes in there and not the colourful string itself. This is what the immortal is going to need to restring my item. Now for a look at the long string I can have up to 80 characters and this one comes to 67. Now you can see here that I've capitalised the A at the start and I've put a full stop at the end of the sentence. You can see with the short string I have a lowercase a and no full stop at the end. This is because quite often the mud will put this phrase in the middle of a sentence. Right, now I need to double up the ats for my long string. Okay, here we go. As you can see, all the colour codes have the at symbol in front of them, so you can see exactly what they are. Now the keywords I want added are quite simply flagon, dwarven and ale. Alright, I'm all ready to go. Time to find an immortal to do this restring for me. Now, the best way to find an immortal is to type who im first. Nope, no ims are available at the moment. It looks like I might have to write a note. Alright, before I write that note, I'll just type who im one more time. Typing who im again shows that Moonshine Guinness is available. A very polite tell to the im you would like to do something for you is generally a good idea. There we go, you tell Moonshine Guinness, hello, do you have time to do a restring for me please? Oh fantastic, she has the time to do it for me. Okay, she wants to summon me to her room. Alright, well, I'm ready to go, so I'll let her know. I'm rather excited. I'm getting summoned to one of the Immortals' homes. Oh, and here we go. The map's changed. In fact, it's gone completely blank. Okay, I've just told her I would like to have my decanter restrung. Now I actually have to give her my decanter. So by typing give decanter Guinness, I give my decanter of endless water to Moonshine Guinness. Now we also need to tell her exactly what we would like our strings to be. Alright, she's asking for my short name and I would like it to be Fantastic! She's even making sure I'm giving her the correct restring and that I know exactly what it means. 
Uh oh, I'm starting to feel thirsty. I'll need that decanter back real quick. She would like the long name. And here it goes. Now, because I've got the color codes visible, all she needs to do is copy and paste exactly what I've given to her. And she seems to be quite pleased by my efficiency. Now she's asking for any keywords. Well, as I stated earlier, I have three, so here they are. These three keywords will be added to the current keywords my decanter had. Okay, she's just asking for a moment of time. Now, immortals are quite busy, and as we saw, she was the only one visible, so she's probably getting tells from other players asking for help. Oh, fantastic! It looks like she's done, and she's given me a flagon of dwarven ale. Now, typing ID ale, we can see that flagon, dwarven, and ale have been added to the existing keywords. The name is a flagon of dwarven ale, exactly as I've given it to her. Now, typing look ale, we can see that the long description is a flagon of dwarven ale is filled to the brim. Let's take a drink. You drink some water from a flagon of dwarven ale. Okay, she's actually sent me back to Alor's recall, so I just need to type home to get home. 